what do you need to have set up before you can successfully start doing this strategy or even give it much of a test. The idea is to share here with you what you need so that if you don't have it, you can get motivated to start making it and if you do have it, you can start using what you already have. So the first key thing is obviously a Facebook page. If you don't have a Facebook page already, this isn't going to work. Now what kind of Facebook page would work best for this? I think there's two different basic types of pages you can use that can work best with this. My page is Jerry Banfield, so it's branded after me. I think this strategy has the best potential to work for a personally branded page or for the exact name of a company that is branded well. For example, if you have your product and it's obvious that anyone can see what it does, for example, if I had a company name, I could say online courses or something, some name that's easily recognizable. This doesn't seem like it's likely to work very well with a poorly branded company name or something that's too complex because the whole strategy, as you can see in the post here, the whole strategy is based on word of mouth, viral sharing, and simplicity. So if you have a really complicated page name, or if you have something that is subject to being changed, for example, if you have some MLM program, and that's the name of the page, and then you switch to another MLM program, then you need an entirely new page. For this, you really need a page that's stable, that doesn't switch over time. A page where if you hop from one MLM program to another, one Udemy course from another, one line of work from another, you can still keep using the same page because you want a page you can use over a long period of time. So to me, a personally branded page is the way to go unless you've got a rock solid company that you're working with. And that if could be a client or it could be your own company. The client I have worked with is doing this with a company page and they have their branding is outstanding. You can tell exactly what product they're selling by the name on their Facebook page and it's only one word. It's utterly simple. It's not some sentence long page name as I've seen a lot of people. It's a very simple page name. So you might think, why does he go into detail so much about these little things? Well, when you're doing this over the long term, all these little things like the page name add up to a whole lot. And when people are trying to talk about your page and when you're trying to run your ads for branding, all of these things matter a lot. So once you've got a page set up and you've got your page, preferably you can get it verified if possible, if it's for a public figure, media company, or brand. So that might actually be easier with a brand. And if you can just get a few likes on your page, if it's a personal brand, or make something somewhere else, you can get it verified. So to me, verified helps on there to show people that it's trustworthy. Then what else? You want your page completely filled out with a cover that accurately communicates what you do. As you can see, this strategy doesn't have a URL in it. And the beauty of that is that you can get almost anything promoted by just having this little story. Now, what's the problem with that? The problem is if your Facebook page is not set up to direct people somewhere, if people come to your page and they see some vague cover photo with no call to action, so to speak, or if they come look at your about section down here and you don't have your website or everything filled out, then you've wasted that traffic. Everything should be set up on your page to engage people as soon as they arrive. So to me, this doesn't seem like it'd be a great idea to do unless you have a bunch of posts already. So let's look and see just a little bit some of the recent posts I have. Tons of different posts on my page. And long story short, I've got this many posts going back nearly a year. My page has depth on it and the client's page I'm doing work for has depth on it also. If one person sees this story, they can go read a hundred more stories like this immediately. 
And that's really powerful for the long term for getting that viral sharing because this story that is initially seen in an ad, and this is a review, and I'll talk more about making the actual post in a little bit. When someone sees the initial post here, this may not do the trick. This may just get them interested enough to go look at the page. If the page is branded well, if the page is explained well and filled out, and then there's more content, one of the posts on the page may make the actual conversion into an excited potential customer. So on my page, I've got lots of different angles I work here. I have inspirational videos, I get people in my YouTube channel, I have things that straight up sell courses on here. So someone might read this review in an ad on my page and then come down and see this and watch a little bit of a gaming video, scroll down, see that, visit the YouTube channel, and then continue going and say, oh, this is what I need, a Google AdWords course. Watch the first 30 minutes of the tutorial, then go buy the AdWords course. So someone may see a review that's actually for a different course, or they might see a story unrelated to what they actually end up buying. So in summary for this, I'm thinking to do this strategy, and the client has all of these things set up, a page that's branded well for the long term, a completely filled out page with photos and about sections that clearly communicate what's done on the page. And all of this to me is easiest if it's personally branded. And then in depth, tons of content on the page that's matching the communication style, intensity, the mindset of the original post. Now, if you make something here that's all happy and positive and then everything on the page is critical and how much politics sucks, well, that's probably not going to work out for sales either. So everything should be consistent across the page. So if you haven't got some of these things, now you know it doesn't take that long to set up most of these different things once you know what to aim at. So I appreciate you watching this. I value your feedback on the course and I hope this is useful for you.